All right, let's see. This seems to be broken. And I can break stuff, okay. Anything? Uh, some old bones. Fuck your pots. This seems to be broken. Yeah, I know it's broken. That's so why we're gonna punch it. Alright, let's see. Um, candles. Put those out, apparently. Ooh, this one's not broken, but it's empty. Is there anything? I mean, there's a chest over here. I saw that. Uh, doesn't look very solid. Try breaking it open. Uh, press Alt to highlight objects that can be picked up. The higher your perception, the more objects you will see. 77 gold? Okay. Nothing back there. I guess we'll go down this way. Alright, I gotta find out what to do with these boxes because they're kind of in the way. Alright, so you can move objects, but I can also just break them. I think it'd be easier. A uh, pair, yep, definitely might need that. That's empty. Seven gold, okay. Nothing in these barrels. Alright, whatever. Careful. There's a mine in the middle of our path. Someone must have an interest in protecting whatever's kept here. There is a mine ahead. You can trigger mines by attacking them with a ranged weapon or by dropping something heavy on them. Okay. Where's this mine at? Okay, it's right there. Boom. Let's see, a, a uh, hand axe and a minor health potion. Pretty useful stuff. I feel like I need to zoom out all the way. This seems to be broken. I know it seems to be broken. Take another bone. There's a candle. I don't care about that. Uh, empty potion flask. I'm sure I'll need those if I can start making potions later. Nothing. Another potion. That's a broken vase. Ooh, a chest. Alright. Wait, what? Fuck it. Let's break it open. Alright, alright. That might take a while. Let's go see if we can find a key. I've always heard there's typically more to a king's tomb than meets the eye. It could be a myth, or it could be our lucky day. All these are broken. This one's not, though. Actually, this, let's get this one first. Open it. Let's check the king's tomb. There is a old parchment. Gravekeeper Ragequin. 
tend the graves and antechamber before moving into the inner rooms. To proceed, stand very close to the impressed door and press the button that appears on the right hand side. Okay. That's useful information to have. All of these vases are empty. Tell me to search for a key, so let us keep looking. Got a skull. Alright, if I were to put a key somewhere. I guess we'll go check the other side. It's like kind of, uh, I got distracted. There's the chest I can't open. I guess I did look this whole side. Did I search this bone pile? Yeah, I did. Alright, so stand really close to the door. And then the button is on your right side. I spotted something. There's the button. So there's the door, okay. Uh, you can look behind walls and pillars by holding the middle mouse button. Which I'm probably going to change. Okay, I can change my camera angle. That's cool. Oh, there's some stairs. There's a door, okay. It's a door. Let's just break it down. We made sure work of that door, but I don't imagine our weapons would survive so useful. Truly, bashing through every entrance we find is bound to affect our gear's durability. Fire resistance potion sitting there, that's good. That'll probably come in handy. Some candles, candles, candles. Uh, if I do quick save, well, if you insist. Good thing my recording software button is not uh, set to F5, huh? Can I take this? Oh, I just put it out. Okay. Hello, rain scroll. Okay. Take that, definitely. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Fire can be removed by water. Use a water spell or destroy a water barrel to clean up the fire. Which fire? Okay, we're talking about that fire. So we'll explore the rest of this, I guess. That's all over there. Find a way to put this fire out. Let's punch this. Okay. I broke my sword. What did that do? Oh, that put some of the fire out, but now I need a new weapon. Is it just gone? Oh no, okay. It's So, uh... Equip this axe. Okay. Let's go this way. Yes, you have. So, uh, skeletons got nothing. All 
Alright, let's see if I can't move around the side of this poison. Fire arrow. Um, cool. Take that. Move this way. Oh, wait. Is that base? That's broken. That ain't doing me no good. Hmm. Okay, let's see. There's no water barrels over here, so... We're gonna have to walk around to get over there. Still some fire on the ground. Lockpicks. Can't use them, I don't think, but definitely good to have in case I take some lock picking, which I probably will eventually. Um, oops. Is that it? Won't let me turn the map anymore. So I'm guessing that's it. and stuff. There's a big door. Aha! I see you. Alright, that opened our big door, but let's explore the rest of this place first. Is that a bench? Am I going to sit? Yep. Okay, there's a river. Check this vase. Nothing. Try using fire on poison surfaces and poison clouds. A fire spell or fire arrow will do the trick. So. And boom goes the dynamite. What is this? Uh, cooking pot. Definitely something I might want. And there's a scroll over here. Uh, I'm assuming it's some kind of fish. A place, place, say? I don't know. Alright. Another axe, which is good in case I break this one. A health potion. And uh, I thought I saw something underneath it, but I guess not. And a chest with metal temple door key. Hmm. All right, let's go through that big ass door. Oop, okay, I don't care about the vase. Don't pick that up. What if I can get that without getting poisoned? Ah, it's right there. Oh, no, 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 that was dumb. Now I'm poisoned. Oh, no, 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 don't, dude, don't, no, no, no. God, I'm dumb. What am I doing? Throw that back over there. That one's on that one. I am going to die, so I need to heal. Alright, so. Take this one and put it... So I need to put it here. There we go. I'm a retard. What's in this chest? A teleportation scroll. Okay. There's a lot of skulls, man. Shh. I think I hear voices downstairs. The 
Last thing we need is to surprise another angry summoner. We're in our sneak mode by pressing C. Stay out of the vision cones of those around you to remain hidden. Where'd that voice come from? It's right there. Okay, sneak mode. <laughs> They're just turning to a rock. Uh, sometimes it pays off to scout ahead. Try igniting the oil by those oil those skeletons are standing on to damage them before you approach. Okay. Have him go into sneak mode as well. Alright, so I'm assuming that's the oil. We're gonna do this. Mmm, take that burning damage. Alright. So let's see. Now I can wait here and let them try and come attack me. Uh, which is what I think I'm gonna do. Him going to power stance, and we're gonna wait see if they move up. All right. Six action points to hit that dude. That's blocked. So we're gonna do this. Killed him, uh, and then. We need to reposition a little. So we're gonna move over here and call it. Actually, I had enough action points. I can hit it with my staff too and win. Okay, pick up this scroll. Switch back to the warrior because you know. Um. All right. Well, that went well. Granted, it's a tutorial, so of course it went well. Let's go explore this over here. Hmm. Um, what does this do? Okay. Pressure cates can be acted by your own body weight or by objects of sufficient weight. And they make a click sound when they are active. So let's throw that one over there. All right. What did that do? Hmm. God damn it. Hold on. I could have swore I put you over here. Is this a door? This looks like it's open. Ooh. I really gotta start holding down shift. There's a shitload of stuff over here. Alright. Got some real goodies right there. That vase, uh, empty cup, sure. You know, in case I ever need to fill it with something, you never know. Open vases. A guitar, but it's unrepairable. Oh, my bags are getting full. This isn't good. Hmm. Should I equip the guitar? Yeah, let's do that. You can split your party by dragging your ch character's top left. So what, like that? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I think I understand what they want me to do. So I need to stand here. Alright. Break these, switch to him. And there, switch back to the warrior. Move through here. And then relink them. 
Ooh, auto save. That's never good. Uh, regroup, yeah, by connecting them. I figured that out already. Uh oh. Oh, no, no, no. Rage Quinn. Huh. I guess I'm in a good position to start this battle. Alright. Rage Quinn says, A living rat dares disturb the slumber of the dead. A thieving fool insults the sanctity of the grave. The bloodstone defiler, where is it? Alright, so who are you? Bloodstone, I don't know what you mean. I met a trio of strange robed men before the entrance of this tomb. They seem to have a precious stone in their possession, and I take my leave. So, uh, this is the warrior, pragmatic. We're going to go with this. Strange indeed, robed indeed. Your tricks will not save you from retribution, deceiver. The bloodstone. Deliver it now, and I may deign to end you quickly. Uh, uh, let's ask him who he is. In life, I toil to care for these holy grounds. In death, I protect them from profaners and poachers. The legacy of Sicil is mine to preserve, who traitors are mine to destroy. Bloodstone, I know not what you mean. I suppose you only crept among these sacred tombs for leisure. I suppose you have had no lust for the treasure of the dead. Ha! Okay, my only option is to take my leave. Run if you like, Defiler. Whichever way you take leads you to the grave. So, time to kill this dude. Oh, shit. Alright, so Mage goes first. Um... We are going to use four action points to slow this dude. He's now slowed. That'll probably be handy. And use my other four action points to... Uh, I'm in the way. So we're going to blast this dude. Alright, warrior's turn. Power stance. And battering ram. Oh, I don't have enough action points to carry me all the way. Alright, so we're just going to wait. Uh, boy. Let's see. I'm going to heal the warrior. I should have just named him fucking warrior and mage, huh? Alright, now. I can battering ram this dude. Failed to knock him down. And then use Crushing Fist to kill him, probably. Again, failed to knock him down. Alright, let's kill this archer with fire. And end my turn. There's only have two action points left. Uh, I guess we'll just punch Rage Quinn in the face. And broke the guitar over his head. Uh, death never dies, fools. Death in a thousand forms rules all. And now he's a ghost. Is he female? I need to reposition unless I can hit him from this angle, which I don't think I can. Alright, I need to reposition, so we're going to use four action points to move there, and four action points to punch the... Alright, warrior's turn. Uh, all my abilities are on cooldown, so I can use four to kill that skeleton. Oh, no. And use another... Oh, I don't have a weapon, that's why. Crap. Can I equip a weapon? takes two action points to do that though, which I have. So boom. That's the end of my turn. Fumbled on applying chilled, and now I need to reposition again. So I don't shoot my own guy in the face. Which you know I'm gonna reposition. Uh, I need at least four action points to use my staff. Alright, I have a weapon equipped now. Uh, power stance. And four extra points to hit him. Her. I don't know. Uh, 
that's all I got. Alright, fire. It's... Hopefully that doesn't hit my own dude, which it might. We're gonna try it anyway. The arc's up over. Fuck yeah. What did Rage Quinn drop? Ooh, look at that. Got a golden kitchen knife, an old cloth cap. My bags are probably almost full. Uh, that only gives one armor rating, but we're going to send that to Frederick. Uh, intellect potion, send that to Frederick. Frederick can have the cap, increase his armor a little bit. Alright, let's see, what do we got? So yeah, as you can tell, this game is very, uh, it reminds, it's a lot of, it's like a mix between Diablo, uh, Fallout 2, I'm going to use 2 because it is the most, you know, recent to use that system, uh, and, why well, is a door here, how do I open it? 